What is going on guys, it's uh, JFC here, and thanks EA for the maintenance. I always find it hilarious how they let you know, literally, one hour before it drops. Like, hey, uh, we have scheduled maintenance, 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. UTC, it's 12.30 a.m. This is in one hour after they post this. It's just like, oh, okay. Thanks, I guess. We don't need to go on the game anyway. We are going to chat about the market today. Still absolute radio silence on the hero situation. Still nothing. I think they have no idea what to say um, because they screwed over a lot of the players and a lot of players got rich off of their mistake let's have a look let's have a look at the graph as you can see today we've we've mostly just seen like ups and downs right people a bit of selling followed by a bit of buying followed by a bit of selling followed by a bit of buying usually monday everyone gets like there's a ton of supply sunday night then a ton of people get a ton of coins as well because squad battles rewards comes out foot champs is done so everyone's got their rewards for that and then you start seeing like rises on monday but right now usually you're gonna you'd, you'd see a, a bigger rise than this you really would but you're not seeing a crash either. And I think right now people are just like terrified of what to do. I think a lot of this is people aren't listing. They're not buying right now because there really is so much unknown on the market right now. There's a lot of unknown on terms of content. If we even get a rise in some of these like low rated gold rares, like a Dembele, Memphis to pie, that kind of thing, Kunde, this might be a really, really good time to sell Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. That's if we get a quiet week of content, though. Um, if there's a ton of, like, great SPCs that come out, which we don't have leaked right now. We only have icons. The icon SPC is leaked. Only, only SPCs we have leaked right now are mid Vidic and um, I think it's mid Casillas. Yeah, mid Casillas. So those aren't, like, fantastic icon SPCs. You know, it's it's hard to say if we'll get any other more road to the knockout SPCs that are really good value. The EA's had some pretty good valued SPCs seasons here the cards haven't been like amazing but they've actually all been pretty fairly priced so that doesn't bode well for the market because if a, if a card comes out that's really cheap and is very popular it's only like i remember last year the flashback benzema just destroyed the attacker market for like a week straight the attacker market just dropped probably 30 percent because that benzema came out and it was a great price there's always the threat of that happening as well so whenever you see a good time i i think early this week is is a really nice time uh, if you if you see a price that you like go ahead and sell your team and then maybe wait for the weekends like the panic starts on friday to see if you should buy again that's probably what i'm going to do myself there's always panic before friday unless it's like a really quiet friday there's like no promo no nothing drops and the market's going to rise but how many fridays a year are there no like new promo or new second week of a promo it, it almost never happens so that's not something I'm really thinking about too much. But yeah, I think just in summary, like I would personally get out of some of these golds just probably today, tomorrow, Wednesday, something like that. If you just keep keep an eye out on them on your team, basically. When you see if, if you see they're at a price that they have not been in a while, get, get them out. Send them to the curb. Let's talk about the hero thing yesterday again. Another thing that's funny about EA being radio silent about this hero stuff. I've gotten a lot of questions asking like, what is going to happen to people who didn't get to open that hero pack? I'm gonna be honest with you, absolutely nothing is going to happen. They are basically just gonna sweep this under the rug like nothing happened. There might be a tweet. They, they honestly might not even tweet about it at all. If anyone's going to get compensation, it's actually gonna be the people who opened it because the pack on the front of it said it's untradeable and it ended up being tradable and I'm pretty sure that one time that happened before in the market and they gave the pack again tradable to every single person who opened it. That's what's going to make this really bad. Potentially, there is a non 0% chance that because we there's a reason we haven't heard anything about this yet. And that's because they're trying to figure out how to compensate people without doing what they did with certain icons. There, I think there was this icon glitch. I remember it now. Now, now it's coming back to me. There was a player pick. I think it was an icon player pick pick last year that ended up being tradable people sold their like it was very few people that got to open this right it was very few people got to like sell ronaldinho's and stuff like that for like three plus million coins but because they didn't know it was going to be tradable it's like apparently like legally they can't mislead their customers i guess that's kind of what their compensation thing has been for the last few years they're trying to like skirt around legal troubles so they end up giving compensation out if you are showing one thing and something else comes out of the pack well, all the people who opened the hero packs were showing one thing and something else came out of the pack so what could happen is every single person who opened that gets an untradable hero um it could be a tradable hero but i don't think so because it said untradable on the pack so i think it would have, it would be untradable but if that happens expect kind of another mini crash on the market because a ton of people opened that pack everyone's gonna get a FUD hero and heroes at this time of game are really good. I mean, there's a ton of heroes 
that are super good at this time of year right now, which is going to make the hero prices go down, which is going to make the rest of the market go down because the heroes go down, which are very meta cards, which means the whole market starts to go down. So there's a non-zero chance that because we have not heard anything yet, they're going to give compensation to everybody who opened this, which then means the whole market is going to go down, which then could possibly mean we that just leads us into like the major crash. Now that's like I'm connecting too many dots. It sounds like I'm connecting too many dots almost there. To me, that's like a possibility of, of this happening because this is a this was a huge deal i mean people made millions of coins off of this millions i i, I you can probably find thousands of people who made millions of coins off of this and we've heard nothing we've heard nothing and there's probably thousands of people who lost hundreds of thousands of coins on this somebody in my comment section was sitting here saying i had three heroes on my team and i've lost 300k just in 20 minutes he lost 300k i mean it it's just it's been it's unacceptable from ea we obviously know that but they have to do something and i don't know what it is i i don't know what good thing it's not my job to, to make that decision because it's 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 really not fair and like i've been saying we could see some type of inflation on the market if as many people got those coins like i think they did and right now we're not totally seeing it but the thing is is we don't really know when the crash is going to happen right this this high-end meta gold stuff like you know the vinnies the mbappes neymars ronaldo's that kind of stuff we don't know when they'll bottom out what could happen is the market shoots up over this weekend comes along because there's just so many more coins in the market now but my point is that mbappe's 148 could be his bottom price and we don't know yes the smaller end meta gold cards are going to crash like the usman dembele's kunde's like i was saying earlier they're going to crash it's only a matter of time because guys like Mbappe, I just worry that the inflation, their radio silence on this makes me more worried about it because I think they're trying to figure out what the heck do we do because it could it could g genuinely cause some real damage to the market and it's very unpredictable right now. I think nobody, if you look at around like a, like traders, because I follow a ton on Twitter, aside from the daily flips, which I mean, you'll be able to do no matter what, but like predicting what's going to happen like next weekend is like super difficult right now because there just is no good way of telling. We have all these like insane factors that we get that trying to figure out what's going to happen. It's extremely hard right now. We have our first possible upgrade packs coming this week. Icon SPC is coming. We've got probably more good, just regular player SPCs coming. We've got compensation from the hero packs coming, which could just have huge ramifications on the market. And we just got millions and millions of more coins on the market in the last 48 hours. Right now, it's very shaky. It's just unstable. That's why I think Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if the market goes up right now, just take advantage of that to me, especially on the lower end of the spectrum. If like Marcus Lorente is somehow up in price like today, like if he's like 73K, just get, just get rid. All right. You know, it's not quite like that for some of these other cards, but like Anthony, Anthony at 37K is still so high, so high. Just sell, especially if he goes up today or Tuesday. Just get rid. Yeah, I, don't I think I don't know if I'm missing anything right now. I don't think so. My mind just in a lot of places because I we're still just waiting to hear from EA about this whole situation. We'll see, man. And once we hear, I'll keep you guys updated and I'll give you my thoughts as always. Hope you guys did enjoy me just rambling. Leave a con leave a content. What? Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'd love to help answer them for you. I'll catch you in the next video very shortly. Peace.